Welcome to the 2022-23 Big West Men's Basketball Preview Show. It's brought to you by ByB1.com. Hi again, everybody. Along with Richie Schuler, I'm Tim Never. Glad you're with us as we count you down to the Big West Men's Basketball season. We'll take a look at all of the teams, who's coming back, what to expect on the hardwood, and more. That's coming up. First, let's take a look at one of the teams we're previewing today, the Matadors of CSUN, coached by Trent Johnson. Johnson in his second year. And Richie, he's got the interim head coach tag removed. He's now the full-time head coach. And as a result, he and his staff went out and overhauled his roster in the offseason. Well, Trent Johnson has the most difficult job in the Big West right now. There's no doubt about it. He inherited a, a very difficult program. Uh, and then he had that interim coach uh, tag that he had on there. He finally got that removed. So uh, he's going to have a challenge in front of him. This is a guy that's always focused on defense and rebounding, and he's done a great job of winning Coach of the Year in several different conferences. I think he's up for the challenge, but he's got a big one this year. The Matadors last year, 7-23 and 23 overall. They finished 8th in the Big West Conference. They were gone after the first round of the Big West Conference Tournament. Now, what does this team need to do to improve and get out of that eighth spot and move up? We're going to have to stay healthy. I mean, this is a guy, like I said, he's always focused on defense. You know, sometimes your offense doesn't show, but when your defense does, you got a chance in every single game. He's got a lot of new players. You're talking about 10 new players, a lot of JUCO transfers, Division One transfers. The problem is a lot of these players were more role players at their previous school. So they don't have those guys that can get you 12, 15, 20 points per game. Talent's not exactly where Trent Johnson wants it yet. It's definitely going to be win and lose by committee this season. And it might take a little while for this team to mesh, certainly with the returning players, including sophomore Atten Wright, who was a star as a freshman last year. Uh, he was terrific. Uh, you know, 14, 15 points a game, all conference player as a freshman, which is really unheard of. Uh, but he's a pure scorer. This guy's got a really good shooting stroke. He drives the ball real well, plays with that swagger and confidence. I, they're really going to be leaning on him for some success in, in, in this year. A couple of other guys that are going to help him out. Onye Aisi and Fidela Sokarake, they'll be good players too to match up with Wright on the floor. Yeah, and those guys bring some size. I mean, you're talking about 6'6 six, six and 6'9. Six, you know, you got guys that can bang. They're physical down inside. They can wall up and on defense, on the inside presence, they can block shots. And these are guys are going to have to rely on down inside the interior for them to have a shot against the big players in the Big West. With more on the CSUN Matadors, our Molly Sullivan caught up with the head coach, Trent Johnson. We'll have that conversation next. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit ByB1.com or on social media at B1 Patch. Power isn't born, it's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse-pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA Tournament. Get the best seats in the house at GoMatadors.com slash tickets or call 818-677-2488. Welcome back to the 2022-23 Big West Men's Basketball Preview Show. Talking about the CSUN Matadors and head coach Trent Johnson. Coach Johnson met up with our Molly Sullivan and had a chat. 
All right, coach. So you hit the ground running this off season. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, really revamped that roster. 10, 10, count them, 10 new players, including four division one transfers, a pair of junior college uh, transfers as well. How do you best put into words the, the noise that you made here this off season? Well, in a good way, I want to say we as a staff are, are excited. And I think they are. I think the guys in general have a great idea of what's expected. We, we look like a team. Uh, we've been able to put in our offense uh, and we've been able to put out a little bit of our defense. And, and they've got, a, I think they've got a good feel for some of their strengths and weaknesses as players. Obviously, when you have two, 10 new guys, you're teaching every aspect of it, right? Your defense, your offense. But more importantly, they have to get a feel for what their strengths and weaknesses are without the coach always harping at them about it. So it, it's been fun. It's been exciting. Listen, Coach, you've been there. You've done that. You know what it takes to win. Right. What's it going to take for you guys to rise up this season and, and bring it to another level here? Well, I, I think, I think you know, we throw these words around as adults, as coaches, as administrators and players. And they throw around trust, okay? You throw around loyalty. You throw around accountability. But to be genuine in all aspects of that and as a teammate, be able to hold each other accountable and be able to trust that he's going to make the right play. Yeah, and as a staff and me as a head coach, to be able to trust him that they're going to do the things that we worked on in practice and doing the game. My early indication, inclination is that one, we're going to be able to defend. We're going to be able to rebound, you know, because I think that's important. And we'll be able to be in games and probably compete with people that we're capable of beating. But there's going to be have to be two or three guys by committee. They're going to have to emerge and be offensive to that guy that wants to take the shot and shoot it with confidence. Make no mistake about it. Uh, we have 10 new players, two junior college guys, but for the most part, a lot of these guys that have been in the program with the exception of Adam Wright, they've been in previous programs where they've been role players. And so it's upon us as a staff and upon me as a head coach to make sure that I don't put them in situations where they can't be successful. And number two, which should be number one, that they're comfortable and can play. And the one thing they can control and all the good teams I've been affiliated with is, is their commitment to defend, rebound, and take care of the ball, which obviously keeps you in games. There are no surprises in your program, and I, I, you know that there's a reason for that, why you've been able to stay on top. You've got those five returning players. You talk about the trust, the accountability, uh, those core values that you're known for, Coach. Uh, with your five returners, what do you need to see from them? How can, how can one or two step up their game as well? Well, I'll start with that because obviously – Honorable mention all conference and it's consistency on and off the floor. He has a gift. Shooting the basketball comes comes easy for him. And he wants to take all the shots. He wants to be that guy. And I want him to be that guy. He has to be willing to come out every day and take good shots and do the little things to make other people better, set good screens, make the next pass, so on and so forth. Be a good defender. And that's gonna be hard. You know, the good thing about it is you know, with the addition of guys like Cam Slaymaker, Ethan, Deontay Bostic, there's competition in practice, John Wade for at So he can't take practice off. He can't take a possession off. So, but he has to emerge. I think Oni Oisi is the guy that has to lead by example. Oni's very, very quiet and he's done a really good job, but he has to do more on the glass offensively and defensively. For Dallas, there's no secret to him. You look at him, he's physically very imposing. He has to play within himself and just concentrate on being the best rebounder, the best defender he can, he can be. To strengthen him is for him to rebound, defend, set screens, and uh, be an elite defender because physically he's very gifted, he's very blessed. And then uh, a kid who really improved for us last year, Marcel Stevens was a walk-on and really played well for us down the stretch. And uh, so for those guys, those four, uh, they basically know what we went through last year. We should note you're a Hall of Famer in the great state of Nevada with your time up north in Reno, your five seasons and what you were able to do there. Uh, was but, that, like 2002? I mean, I can't remember. That's how old I am. Well, you were inducted 2013, but who's counting? Uh, you're a Hall of Famer uh, every step of the way. Uh, but but it, really, the atmosphere in Henderson, Coach, you've, you've seen – You've seen this game at the highest level. Uh, how would you best put into words what the atmosphere in Henderson was like? I really like the venue. The word I want to use is 
is intimate, close. I think it's going to take off, and obviously it's upon us as coaches in this league to have a good brand of basketball where people get excited to come and watch. But I just really like it. Convenient, close. Uh, you know, I think the kids had a really good experience. Hopefully we'll have a better experience because we'll be better and win more games. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I think they did too. I thought it was for the first year, I thought it was really done well. Well, you're a hard sell and you've seen it all. So that's that's music to the commissioner's ears, I'm sure. Uh, listen, in terms of perspective, you, you had some perspective in August, didn't you? Not only with your campus and your program, um, but but speak on, upon uh, Nick Herman and, and his influence um, as a whole and, and his tragic passing. Wow. <laughs> you never get over something like that or someone like that. Nick Herman, when it came to being, having courage, being authentic, loving the game of basketball and just being genuine, he was different. He was really different. He had the it factor. One of the things that the guys on this team, they talked about how to honor him. And I says, well, first of all, when you start talking about going out and scoring so many points, Nick was a guy, <clears throat> and I tell him this all the time, how many times do you guys see him get in his car under his condition and drive to Santa Barbara after working out at 6 in the morning with me and drive up to support you as a game? Or how many times do you see him be the first guy to cheer under his circumstances? And so just in closing for me, uh, at his private funeral, there were four nurses that spoke. And this is the testimony that speaks to this, this kid. God bless his soul. And they all said in 30, 40, 50 years, how long they've been in the industry, they've seen a little bit of everything. They've never seen it been around anybody like him. That's the magnitude of Nick Herman. How fortunate the Big West is to not only have your basketball mind, but your leadership and, well, and all that you do. So thank you for for sharing everything that, that you have and you will continue to share with the game and with all of us. Well, thank you for having me. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Order your tickets today for the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Don't miss a minute of pulse pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the next level. Get the best seats in the house at gomatadors.com slash tickets or call 818-677-2488. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1 Patch. The word malama translates to taking care. We malama the land that feeds us. All of that energy that's being put in the ground gets transferred into food. It allows us as a people to thrive as well. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Sometimes faster isn't always better. Like when you're getting a tattoo. Or saying I love you on the first date. Or putting together certain Swedish furniture. But when it comes to getting in and out of the airport, faster is always better. And at Ontario International Airport, you can have a stress-free experience from the curb to the gate. It's the least we can do. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Get the best seats in the house at gomatadors.com slash tickets or call 818-677-2488. The CSUN Matadors, Richie, you've heard from the coach. We've talked about some of the players. What do you expect on the floor from CSUN this year? 
I think the biggest challenge for them is going to be chemistry. You know, you're talking about a team with 10 newcomers and, and six transfers who have played basketball in, in different places and have learned a different style of play. Trent Johnson has himself a challenge, but, you know, he's injected some talent into the program. Like I said before, it's by far the most difficult job in the league right now. And uh, I, I think he's going to get this thing turned around and get this culture set here over the course of time. And to develop that chemistry, you know, this team will be different in February than they will be in November. No doubt about that. And they're going to have to overcome. They've, they've lost some really good players, Elijah Hardy, Darius Brown, that were on the squad last year. So these new players are going to have to find a way to win amongst each other, learn the style of play. And you're right, Trent Johnson's a guy that's teams always get better throughout the course of the season. In February, they're going to be dangerous and, and competitive just like they were a year ago. That's a look at the CSUN Matadors. When we continue, we'll preview the UC San Diego Tritons. That's next.